Hey, we have here today another interesting integral. This one's from MIT 2023. We have problem number 12. We have the integral of sine of the 6x plus cos to the 6x plus 3 sine squared cos squared dx. When I looked at it, my first thought was this looks like something that was cubed. Um, just with noticing if we have like sine squared, sine squared cubed is sine to the 6x. Same thing with cosine. What I want to do is look at, let's look at what happens just algebraically of a plus b cubed. Okay, so we have this expansion on the board for a plus b cubed. And again, I was noticing the similarity. We have this 3 here that looks really similar, and we're multiplying the functions together. Let's look at what happens. Now, like, let's say our a, if our a is sine squared x, then a cubed is going to be sine to the 6x. So we have, so with our a cubed, we're matching sine to the 6x right there. Let's look at if, uh, let's say b is cosine squared x, then same exact thing, b cubed is going to be cosine to the 6x. So here we'll have a cosine of the 6x, that matches this exactly. So then let's look at 3ab. So 3ab is going to be 3 sine squared x, cosine squared x. That's exactly what we have there. What about this a plus b? Well, with that, a plus b is just sine squared plus cosine squared, right? But that's just 1. So therefore, you know, we could just put it like at put a one in there, multiply it by one, that's not gonna change it. And then we're matching this exactly with our a as sine squared and a b cosine squared. So in effect, we can, we can replace our whole integral with this a plus b cubed, where a is sine squared x and b is cosine squared x. So let's see how that looks. Okay, now we've manipulated our integral into this form here, where we have sine squared x plus cosine squared x cubed. But the thing that sticks out here is this is just one. Just like we have here, this is just a plus a plus b is one, so we have one cubed. And so that means we're just integrating one dx, simplest integral in the world, so the answer is just gonna be x plus c. So that's it, kinda easy, but a fun problem. So we'll stop it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.